हेलो एंड अस्सलाम वालेकुम आई एम उस्मान जावेद एंड दिस इज द कंटिन्यूएशन ऑफ लेक्चर नंबर 12 इन व्हिच आई वाज डिस्कसिंग अबाउट द एनवायरमेंटल इंपैक्ट्स ऑफ रिन्यूएबल एनर्जी सोर्सेज एंड इन दिस पार्ट आई विल डिस्कस अबाउट द एनवायरमेंटल इंपैक्ट्स ऑफ बायोमास एंड बायोफ्यूल सो बायोफ्यूल्स आर कंसीडर्ड टू बी biodegradable because they quickly break down into harmless substances if they are spilled they are high, highly inflammable uh, this is a safety risk uh, so uh, they are said to burn cleaner and have higher octane levels when they are added to pure gasoline higher evaporation uh, emission from fuel tanks and dispersing equipments uh, equipments vapor content of fuel in the tank may be leaked out that may be hazardous and contribute to formation of harmful uh, ground level uh, to ozone and smoke uh, uh, biomass uh, uh, burning whether it is accidental or, or wildfires or deliberate burning of forest to create agricultural land as long we known to affect both the climatic change and to public public health but still uh, until the uh, release of the new uh, study by uh, stanford civil environment engineering by uh, professor mark z jacobson the degree to, uh, of that contribution had never been comprehended uh, uh, in uh, quantified levels so the uh, research uh, detailed paper which was published on 30th uh, july in the journal of uh, uh, geophysical research atmosphere is based on three dimensional computer model simulation of uh, impact of biomass uh, burning his uh, fi- findings conclude that burning biomass is playing a much bigger bigger role in climatic change and human health issues Uh, that was uh, previously uh, assumed or thought uh, it has been calculated that 5 to 10% of the world wide air pollution uh, is uh, due to biomass burning burning it means that it causes premature uh, 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 it is uh, basically uh, said that uh, 2.5 lakh people die each year because of the fires related to uh, uh, fires and other environmental uh, risks that are related to biomass burning so three dimensional uh, research which uh, the professor has done is uh, the first factor is the carbon factor carbon is uh, of course uh, it is associated with global warming uh, most carbon emissions are linked to human activities that are, are the main cause of forming the carbon dioxide but Uh, but other forms of carbon include methane and other particles uh, uh, precipitates that are generated by uh, fires um, which are basically tiny bits of uh, soot which are called the carbon particles carbon soot and um, modes of associated uh, substances which are known as uh, uh, the brown carbon when sunlight per- uh, penetrates the water droplet containing black or brown carbon Uh, the carbon uh, as it is black absorbs the light energy creating heat and accelerating the evaporation process of the droplets carbon part, uh, particles floating around in the spaces between the droplets also absorb scattered sunlight uh, converting it into heat so heating uh, the clouds uh, reduces the relative humidity of that cloud and because clouds reflect sunlight cloud dissipation causes more sunlight to transfer to the ground and seas ultimately resulting in warmer uh, ground and air temperature the second point was uh, ice and snow uh, carbon uh, particles released from burning of biomass settle down on the snow and contribute into the further uh, warming ice and snow are because they are white in color so they are uh, Uh, effective in reflecting sun uh, sunlight but uh, when the dark uh, carbon suit is uh, 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 on the ice or snow it uh, causes uh, sunlight uh, sunlight 
uh, to absorb uh, more effectively and the uh, ice and snow uh, cause to uh, uh, amplify their process of uh, melting and the third one the last one is the significant heat effect uh, the direct heat generated by building a biomass is significant and contributes to cloud the evaporation by decreasing relative humidity so uh, it has been determined that 7% uh, of the total net uh, global warming caused by the biogas uh, biogas burning this is 7% of the 0.4 degree celsius net uh, global warming gain and can be uh, attributed to the direct heat heat causes by, uh, which is uh, caused by the uh, burning of biomass the direct heat generated uh, by burning the biomass is significant and contributes to the cloud evaporation by decreasing relative humidity so This was the uh, contribution of uh, 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 biofuels uh, to the environmental pollution that I have just discussed. Thank you.